Tony D and Little Joan with your Piney Podcast. All things South Jersey. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Thanks for checking out the Pineys at Amazon.com. Books 1 to 13. Book 14 coming soon in March. Thanks to uh, some recent uh, people who left ratings. And uh, that was nice. All right. So as always, I'm going to... Uh, check out what's happening in South Jersey this week and we're gonna start with the crime so this is a fair amount but not not too bad and then we'll get to the delicious food uh, Voorhees bodybuilder Brandon Barbella a TikTok and Instagram personality dies at 25 whoa that is not good January 19th of an undisclosed cause hmm he was a former wrestling star at Eastern Regional High, where he was team captain. Man, that is... That is not good. GoFundMe raised more than $15,000 to benefit his family. He had almost 18,000 followers on multiple photos of videos of Barella working out the bodybuilder poses. You know what I think... It could possibly be, but will that be explored? I sincerely doubt it. Worker dies at Lakewood, New Jersey recycling facility. Uh, okay, an incident in Ocean County Northern Recycling Center happened after 10 a.m. Worker was dead by the time the first responders arrived. Circumstances of incident were not disclosed. Sadistic New Jersey man who decapitated a pet cat on video sentenced to prison. Uh, yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. Cat killer blamed it on substance abuse. Yeah, that was pretty depraved. And it was his roommate's cat. On video, he does it. Yeah, let's... Uh, I, th I think prison would be appropriate. New Jersey troopers seriously injured during motel shooting. Where was this? Can't read the sign. This is in Branchville. They were shot with a BB gun on Wednesday morning during a standoff in Sussex. A BB gun? Guy's lucky he's not dead. They're saying serious injuries? Eh, it's possible. It's possible. I got hit by a, a BB gun at close range. It broke the skin. Depends on the BBs, I guess, if they're metal. Uh, witnesses say pedestrian killed in Route 130 crash was fleeing police. Uh, workers at Dunkin' Donuts on Marlton Pike in Pensacola say they recognize the man who was hit by a driver as a frequent and often unwelcome presence at their shop. This is a developing story. Okay. So when was this? Fairly recent, I think. No date and time. All right. Uh, New Jersey's most wanted. The FBI's most wanted New Jersey armed and dangerous. Okay. So this guy, Andre... Wanted for murder, Andre Florentin. Uh, okay. Diego Alfonso de Leon Mejira. Murder, also murder. Jeez, he's got five names. Dennis M. Cunningham, murder. Kofi Edwards, armed robbery. So you can check these out yourself. Wilford Rodriguez, murder. Which one is this? This is... Uh, forget. I forget the name of this one. Gotta go up here. Soho. So, Sojo, I guess it's called. Um, the radio station. Wilfred Rodriguez, murder. That looks like an old picture. Francis Francisco Martinez, murder. And that's it. So watch out for those guys. Year after crash killed New Jersey executive and mom, driver is arrested. 24-year-old with suspended license. Damn, that is awful. That was in South Brunswick last winter. Giovanni Gaines Little was arrested on Monday. That is terrible. I mean, it's terrible enough. He hit somebody, but to run away makes it way worse. New Jersey acupuncture doctor charged with sexual assault of female patient. This is in Matawan. Okay, not good. Not good, but he's caught. Former New Jersey college student who stabbed mom to death, sentenced to 10 years. That's it? Only 10 years? She murdered her mother. 
Oh, during an argument. Well, maybe. Attorneys claim self-defense. She plans to appeal murder uh, guilty verdict. Hmm. I mean, still, though. Seems bad. New Jersey-based gang of migrants charging $6,000 a head to smuggle illegal immigrants into U.S. from Canada. Why do you even pay? I mean, is the border to Canada even guarded that much? Seems like you could take your shot and save yourself six grand. Right? Seems like once you got into Canada, it would be pretty easy to, if you knew the way, to hike across the border. Maybe that's it. Maybe people don't know. But there are some towns I know on the border where literally half the towns in Canada and half the towns in the U.S., stuff like that, um... How can they not just go into the woods and cross? There's not a big fence along the north border. But, I mean, it is wintertime, so this time of year, kind of more dangerous. The picture they had, I think they're crossing a river in this one, too. And then the other question I have is, how are they based out of New Jersey? See here? That looks like a river. Um, and how are these guys based out of New Jersey? I guess this is one of the guys. He's the ringleader. He's still on the loose in Canada. Yeah. Will the uh, Canadian officials capture him or give him a medal? Um, how about how about smuggling some guys into Canada? Take take him take him Canada. You want him? A Woodbine, New Jersey man, arrested facing a CP charge. Very not good. Armed gunman in Cherry Hill Mall robbed a jewelry store. Freaky. That's that's kind of close to me. Don't like that. This is the Philly Diamond Connection Jewelry Store in the mall. Malls aren't safe in New Jersey. I don't, I, you know, this is, uh, this is bad. And here they are wearing masks and everything. That, that's the thing about masks, too. They're so stupid. You've given criminals the green light to walk around with masks like it's nothing. Oh, he's just wearing a mask. He's just trying to be safe. Oh, my God, he's robbing me. Um, yeah, is this the best picture of these guys? I mean, it's got to be video all through the Cherry Hong Mall. That's messed up. And no security, I guess. Top Atlantic City Politico charged an absentee ballot fraud case. Craig Calloway has previously served prison time for bribery and sexual blackmail. Well, he sounds like the perfect guy. To be a top political politico in Atlantic City. He's actually served time for two different crimes, including bribery, and yet somehow he's still involved in the voting process in Atlantic City. Amazing. But not surprising. This is a former Atlantic City councilman. Atlantic City councilman. Unbelievable. But not really. Because, uh... Uh... This is, uh, I think this is him on the left. Shakes hands with his attorney following his sentencing in May La May's Landing. 2008, that was. Callaway and others were working at his direction to pay people 30 to $50 to apply to be messengers for voters purportedly wishing to vote for mail. Oh, yeah, I'm sure that was very honest. Scum. Scum of the earth, some people are. Um, but... This is par for the course in Atlantic City. It's so corrupt. So corrupt. It literally was corrupted the moment they started building the city. It started corrupt. Read Temples of Chance. I always recommend that book. Oh, my God. It's uh, uh, in the DC comic Atlas. Gotham City is the sister, sister city of Atlantic City. So if you think Gotham City is New York, nah. It's really Atlantic City. Uh, New Jersey drug deaths down. Well, that's good. Five counties recorded a drop of at least 30%. Why? Because everybody's so broke they can't afford drugs anymore, I assume. New Jersey denies Beach Town's request to build erosion protection structure. North Wildwood Mayor Patrick Rosanello plans to appeal court for permission to construct barrier. Um, so, I mean... 
I've heard some rumors about the wackiness of local politics in the Wildwood, North Wildwood area. Not sure what's going on there, but I've heard stories, let's just say. New Jersey voters appear to put finger in eye of state's party boss system. Oh, good. Love it. New Jersey voters are rejecting the state's party boss system, according to a poll released Friday, which shows Rep. Andy Kinn, New, uh, Democrat in New Jersey, leading the state's first lady, Tammy Murphy, for Senator Bob Menendez. Oh, those are the only two choices? Yeah, screw them. Screw them both. Hell, I'd rather re-elect Bob Menendez than have either of those two clowns in. At least Menendez will be going soon. How can you elect another Democrat when Menendez is so damn corrupt? Viral video shows parents brawling at New Jersey youth wrestling meet. Parents interrupted wrestling matches with one of their own. That's not good. Where was this? Warren County near uh, Phillips, Phillipsburg High School in Lapatong Township, New Jersey. I, I know that area. That's not far from uh, uh, Lucille's Luncheonette. So uh, don't fight. Don't fight during your kid's game, you weirdos. New Jersey, uh, drunk drivers in New Jersey wanted as Kim leads, Dems, as Kim, I, I mean, that, that's Andy Kim, leads Dem against DWI migrant deportation bill. So, if Andy Kim wins, oh, we get a guy who will, uh, uh, I don't know, go to Congress and push great ideas like, hey, let's not deport anybody because they're drunk driving. Let's not get crazy. They're only illegal immigrants. Well, why don't they uh, stay in their... Uh, gee, I wonder why they came here. I wonder why they're kicked out of their own country, Andy. I wonder why they're facing maybe jail in their own country if they drunk dr drove somewhere and ran over somebody's kid. Oh, but you're so wonderful and nice. So yo, You just want to hug uh, all the immigrants, I'm sure. You friggin' clown. Deport these people. Deport them. DWI is a perfectly good reason to. Yeah, let it be uh, someone else's problem, not ours. New Jersey AG Matthew Placken unveils new program to combat human trafficking. Good, I guess. If this actually does something, if it actually doesn't increase human trafficking, I guess. Local New Jersey crimes are horrific illustration of worldwide human trafficking epidemic. Yes, it is. So, I mean, get him, I guess, if you got real proof. Andy Kim leads Tammy Murphy in new poll for Democratic Senate nomination. Uh, I hope the Republican wins, whoever it's going to be. Workers of the world unite. A big no to congestion pricing. Yes, let's not let this pass. Um... The debate over New York State plans to raise a billion dollars by leveling a $15 congestion fee on cars coming into Midtown Manhattan has been framed as a cross-border controversy between MTA CEO Jano Lieber and Governor Phil Murphy, who opposes the revenue raiser and has sued in federal court to derail it. Good. I'll say that for Murphy. Good. Uh, it's not his state. I bet if it was his state, he'd have all kinds of reasons. Oh, but don't worry. There's a headline for Murphy coming. Um, Camden's whole tech pays five million to avoid the prosecution in NJEDA tax credit scheme. Hmm. The, in 2018, the nuclear technology company, nuclear technology. I thought it was hotels. Company allegedly sought to restructure investment in other tech company and yield additional returns through angel investor tax program. Stone Harbor considers options on park fees. Don't like that. Don't like park fees. Don't do it, Stone Harbor. You're a rich town. The one town, one town down the shore shouldn't be charging for anything. It's Stone Harbor. Unless you're trying to push out the riffraff. I'm sure you got cops for that. South Jersey churches suing to leave Methodist Conference. Here's why. Have they gone woke? Or are they going woke and then want to leave? Several United Methodist churches in South Jersey who disagree with new progressive policies. Yep, there you go. They're based on same-sex marriages and gay clergy say the state conference is making it too difficult to leave the denomination. Uh, welcome to the schism. This is going to happen through a lot of churches. 
a lot of I don't know, the woke have infiltrated the church for the same reasons they've infiltrated a bunch of other institutions. A lot of it's preying on women's natural nurturing instinct, saying, "Oh, you don't want to be you don't want to be transphobic, do you? Well, then you should want to give children puberty blockers. Oh, they'll kill themselves without them. Do you want to do you want blood on your hands?" Some women just can't say no to that. They just can't. It's sad. Um, I think the tide's turning, but as always, South Jersey gets the memo about mm, four or five years late. Turn in all illegal dumper in Hamilton Township uh, gets a thousand. Ooh, get a thousand dollars. That sounds awesome. It's, uh, illegal dumping is a problem in the Mays Landing area. So, yeah, uh, you damn right I'm going to keep my eye out. Yeah, you dump something out of your car, man. I'm going to whip out my phone and turn you the F in. I want that $1,000. Oh, yeah, I may just take a, take a ride up and down the road looking for you. <laughs> that sounds pretty sweet. Pretty sweet reward. It's a win-win, I say. Tom's River, New Jersey mayor. No more Zoom after a meeting becomes a circus. Okay, I, I guess. I mean, why are you guys still Zoom calling? Don't you ha don't you have a town hall that you're probably spending a gazillion tax dollars to fund and heat and light? Why don't you get out of your house and have a meeting? Work on Higby Beach project expected to start in February. Are they going to remove the uh, rail railroad tracks that are underneath the beach? I think they should leave them, but going to be closed until December 2026 37.5 million ecological restoration project sounds like something they would do maybe get rid of the railroad ties although I don't see what they do they're usually covered it's only when a big storm comes up do you get to see them and they're all windy now because they haven't been used in I don't know how long uh, so Area stretches from Cape May Canal to Sunset Beach and includes a freshwater lake, extensive salt marsh, and property. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So, hmm. Might have to use this in a piney story where they uncover something cool. Uh, seven things to do in South Jersey for Black History Month. Okay, let's see what we got here. Uh, there's a Black History Month celebration in Merchantville. The Camden County Library event. The Merchant Bill Branch, uh, Borough of Lawnside Black History Celebration, Black History Month Story Time, Mays Landing Branch Library, Black Genealogy Using Ancestry and Family Search, Cherry Hill Public Library, Black History Month Celebrity Night in Willingboro. Who's the celebrities? Oh, they, they're coming dressed as someone they learned about in Black History. Oh, the kids. It's for kids, K to six. Black History Month Trivia. Egg Harbor Township, hmm, I would be okay on that. I'm great at trivia. Black History Month, I got I got a little data, a little data in my brain. Authors event, Burlington County Lyceum of History and Natural Sciences in Mount Holly. And I guess that's it. Oh, wait. And then uh, it looks like the Timbuktu Historical Society He's doing a thing on James Still, the Black Doctor of the Pines, Dr. James Still. I Yeah, I know. I haven't put him in the Pines yet. I did put him in the Jersey Devil comic as a ghost. Um, but I'm dying to use Still um, in, a, in a story. But I haven't quite, haven't quite figured out, because his time period is kind of in between all the, all the crazy historical stuff that I tend to focus on. Um... And I'm surprised they're not doing anything on the Underground Railroad, because that's pretty uh, extensive in New Jersey, even though we were last to undo slavery for some reason. Democrats, moderate, and liberal wings at odds in primary for 7th District House seat. Yeah, see, this is the choice we have in New Jersey. Do you want the, uh, the uh, communist or the communist light? No thanks. New Jersey deer and humans at risk for chronic disease. So if you see a deer, I say shoot a deer. No, you shouldn't do that. I mean, you gotta you gotta shoot them at a certain time, but you gotta be careful because if you see a sick deer, 
It's called the chronic wasting deer, zombie deer. Yeah. If you see a if you see a deer that's all messed up, you might want to put it down. I don't know what the legality of that is. But uh, if you're if you're deer hunting and you it, the deer went down a little too easy, basically walked right into your sights and look messed up and you shoot them, you might not want to eat them either. So you're going to have to be careful. You're going to have to be careful out there. Uh, New Jersey, too close to the top of the two cities most at risk for nuclear war. All right. Well, I mean, New Jersey's pretty small. Number one target, D.C. I, I actually disagree with that. Uh, because D.C., if you kill everybody in D.C. while everybody's there, there's nobody to surrender. There's nobody to, and then, then it's just chaos. Now, maybe they want that, but you want, if you're going to take out an enemy, you want somebody to surrender. You want somebody legit in the government left. So, I don't know. Salem, Cumberland, and Cape May counties may not be too vulnerable from the fallout from a nuke in New York City. Yeah, it's true. But what about D.C.? Uh, Shreveport, Louisiana made the list and not Philadelphia. Yeah, that's kind of, it sounds weird because they used to have, they had the shipping, uh, what do you call it? the shipyard, but it's not really operational now. But you're assuming they updated their targets. I, I think they would nuke it anyway. But, um, yeah, if they don't nuke uh, Philly, I might be... Uh, I might be okay. I mean, not okay. <laughs> I might, I might have the wherewithal to be heading down south before it all goes off. I mean, that would be that would be my move. Oh yeah, I'm heading, I'm getting in the car, grabbing a dog, getting in the car, and heading south, heading south as far as I can, um, and hopefully, we're good. A uh, new life coming for Cherry Hill, former Bed Bath & Beyond location, a second Macy's. Do we really need a second Macy's? I mean, is Macy's doing okay? I don't know, man. In that space? Seems weird, kind of off by itself. I mean, it's next to a few other stores, but I, Macy's is usually a part of a mall. Be weird. Another popular New Jersey craft beer brewery closes. No, I don't like this. Now, this is North Jersey, so I, I probably won't know these. It's called Alimentary in Hackensack. Well, there's your problem, that name. That name is tough to pronounce. I struggled with that immediately. So, but uh, that's a shame. Uh, too many of these places are closing, and they just changed the rules. The pandemic killed these guys. VP Racing Fuels, opening soon in Washington Township, ship a gas station or something more. <laughs> what? Oh, a convenience store. Okay. This is in Washington Township on the Black Horse Pike. I never heard of VP. So, where do they get their gas from is the real question. Uh, I don't know. The convenience store is called Winner's Circle. I mean, it's the same damn kind of place I've seen a million times. Just has a different name, it looks like to me. Uh, Alright, they got racing fuel, so I guess if you race locally, you could gas up here. But they closed the Echo Raceway, so I don't know where even people race now. Off-road diesel and racing fuels, huh? Oh my god, look at the off-road diesel. It's six hundred six dollars and sixty-six cents a gallon, and the premium diesel is five. Holy crap. Prices are not set. Well, that still. All right, moving on. Three signs that mean you shouldn't approach a seal on New Jersey beaches. First off, I've never seen, all the times I've been on a beach in New Jersey, never seen a seal. Never seen one even once. That's number one. Number two, leave wild animals alone. You don't mess with wild animals regardless of how cute they look. But uh, let's see the signs. Does the seal seem to be on high alert? How, do you, how would you even know that? Is the seal showing its teeth and or flippers? That's a definitely a bad sign, the teeth. Did the seal dart back into the water? Yeah, it just wants to get away from you. 
Don't, just you see a seal, just get away from it. I say, unless it's hurt and you're trying to help it. But even then, you gotta, you can't just do that by yourself. Uh, maybe if it's caught in a net and you, you know, you got some gloves, maybe and a, and a couple of guys to help you. But be careful. Don't don't bother wild animals. Kura revolving sushi bar coming to Cherry Hill. Ooh, I love it. I love sushi. Revolving sushi. Well, that's got to be even. Oh, they come in the little conveyor belts. Neat. Wonder how much this costs. <laughs> um, hmm, my birthday's coming up. Is this open? No, it's not open. Damn it. Oh, man. I would totally pick this place for my birthday. Ah, oh, fall of 2024. I'm going to have to wait till next year. Hmm. Yummy sushi. I'm, I'm getting sushi somewhere, I'll tell you that. Two Rite Aid closings, Blackwood, Clementon, Gloucester Township, and Cuthbert Ave, Haddon Township. Latest list of 17 nationally. These are all closing. I don't know. Is there anything worth buying in a Rite Aid that's on sale? Might have to check it out. A couple of these are, I mean, Clementon, that's right near me. Haddon Township, pretty close. Not Newark, though. That's far. I'm not going to Newark. Gloucester Township Rite Aid store abruptly announces closure. I don't know how abrupt it is. They were going out. Uh, New Jersey native trying to win his second straight Super Bowl of the Kansas City Chiefs. And this is Aaron Vaught. Aaron Vaught. All right. Good for you, dude. Where's he from? He's he's like South Jersey, I think. Uh, da -da -da -da. Good for him, though. I'm sure he's making crazy amounts of bank. Yeah, Vineland. He's a Vineland guy. Good for you, dude. Grocery outlet on Cross Keys Road. Construction starts. I guess it's, uh, we don't know what it is. Oh, it's called Bargain Market. All right. Never heard of that one. Sure, why not? Porch light colors and what they mean in New Jersey. I had no idea there was a code. Okay. Six different colored porch light bulbs and what they mean in New Jersey. All right, blue, law enforcement support, autism, and alopecia errata? What? Never heard of that. I mean, the law enforcement makes sense. Why put it with autism and alopecia? Doesn't make sense. Red, American Heart Association, firefighters. Again, that's, why, why not have a separate color for each? Uh, there are more colors. Purple domestic violence support. Okay. Yellow reduce bugs. Aren't they all yellow? Pink breast cancer awareness. See, these got their own colors. That makes sense. And there are other colors. Where's green? There's no green. Oh, wait. That was green. That was the first one. Duh. Veterans and military support and Lyme disease. <laughs> How about dark green, light green, dark blue, light blue? You do it like that. Although... I don't know. Maybe the dark colors won't work. Uh, orange. We missed orange. Tommy's Tavern and Tap, Cherry Hill, March 2024 opening. I guess I can go there for my birthday. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I want to get sushi. Although, that mm, that looks good. There's some sushi. Fantastic. Uh, Haddon Township Green Lights Restaurant and Cocktail Bar from Hearthside's owners. Okay. I guess we'll uh, be seeing that. Where is it? 107 Head Nav. Okay. Um, next up, good news. New Jerseyans will be among the least hungover in February. Because we're too busy getting some. All right. Uh, no, I don't know. Um, with dry January it's at an end, the website betkentucky.com look to see which states are most likely to wake up with a hangover. So we are amongst the least hungover. All right. In February, for some reason. All right. Garden State, seventh least likely state to wake up hungover. Like the whole state doesn't wake up hungover, but like a person in the state, I guess I get what you're saying. Uh, Route 168 gets $8 million federal highway investment for roadway accessibility improvements. How about just making it smooth? I mean, just just make it smooth. The road you got, 
Mammoth Mall is to be demolished and reimagined for mixed-use center. How's it going to be reimagined if you're going to knock the whole place down? Mm, I'm, re I'm imagining a field. Um, I guess. I don't know what you're going to build. Malls are done. Maze Landing native seeks second Grammy. Okay, this is uh, Camper, songwriter and producer Camper, former Maze Landing resident. All right, he won one Grammy and received six nominations over his 18-year uh, music career. I've never heard of Camper. Well, good for you, dude. South Jersey represent. Do we have a picture of him? Uh, no. All right. Well, good luck. Get your game on at these retro arcades in New Jersey. Okay. Uh, Yestercades. That's a red bank. Okay. They used to have these all over. So this takes me back. I love it. Any place that isn't Dave and Buster's, I'm there. Morristown Game Vault. Classic. Ram Real Arcade Museum. Yeah, this one's in Haddonfield, right near me. So I may have to go to this one. Bill's Midway Arcade in Hawthorne. Uh, Marcade Family Fun Center in Rockaway Mall. That's where they belong. If there's a mall left, it should have an arcade. Silver Ball Retro Arcade in Asbury Park. I believe that might be the uh, Pinball Museum is also in uh, Asbury Park. Game on Arcade in Medford. Oh, that's kind of near me. Huh. I have to go to that one, too. Starcade in Mays Landing. Also not too far. Of course, if you're going all the way to Mays Landing, you might as well go to the Boardwalk. And Barcade in Jersey City. Nah, I'm not going to that one. What is this? Best, best X-rated movies in history? Eh, what does that have to do with New Jersey? Uh, indoor Sports Complex planned at Cape May Airport. Will there be an arcade? Should be. All right, so I guess they're doing this. Right, I'm not sure why you would go to the airport in Cape May to do sports, but whatever. Ludlam Island Brewery Golden Ticket Giveaway is underway in South Jersey. Okay, this is the new location for Ludlam Island Brewery. It's going to open sometime during the spring in Woodbine in the old Mousetrap Bowling Alley. Oh, neat. Okay. I've heard of these guys. I have to check my list, see if I called them. I'm sure I did. Well, these are 11 craft breweries to try at the Jersey Shore. Summer Points Brewing. Haven't been to that one. Slack Tide Brewing. Haven't been to that one. I've heard of these, though. Ludlam Island. There it is. Have I been to that one? That looks super familiar with those garages. Vinyl Brewing. Oh, that's Vinyl. That's why it looks familiar. Yeah, I've been to Vinyl. I did an event there. Gusto Brewing. I love that name. Haven't been there. Uh, the Bear Brewing. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Looks very old school. Uh, Glastown Brewing. That's in Millville, I know. Pinelands Brewing. I think I've been there. I think I was there. I'm not sure. Is that the one that's closing? I don't know. Hidden Sands. I just talked to these guys. Mm, it's a maybe. Uh, three Threes Brewing Company. I think I've talked to those guys, too. Um... 30,000 chicken wings served up at annual Atlantic City Wing Fest. I just had some chicken wings, and they were good. They were big, too. I only had two, but they were very, very filling. Um, this is at the Golden Nugget Casino on Saturday. I guess it was yesterday. Cool. I love me some good wings. I really do, if they're good. I mean, they got to be good. You know, I, I don't like them drowned in Tabasco. I really don't. Any, almost any other topping I like. Even plain is better. I'd rather just dip them in ranch. Uh, Tabasco is just, to me, it's so generic a hot sauce. It needs something else. you got to kick up your hot sauce game if you're just using Tabasco, I say. Major travel site names this Ocean County, New Jersey town. The most romantic is at Cape May. I don't think that that's in Cape May County, so no. Uh, why would this be? Ocean County, Ocean County. Is it LBI? It is LBI. Okay. Yeah, LBI would probably rank second, I guess. I don't know if it's that romantic. It's it's big, I'll say that. It's a big. It's as big as Wildwood, if not bigger. 
Nine blockbuster movies you didn't know were filmed in New Jersey. We'll be the judge of that. Is one of them Atlantic City? Um, Joker. Uh, Joker took place on Market Street, Newark. Okay. The Wolf of Wall Street. I knew that one because part of it takes place in that. The Godfather. I think I knew that one. Goodfellas. Maybe. The Dark Knight Rises. Yes, I definitely heard of that. Mean Girls. Who cares? School of Rock, yep. Hunger Games, Catching Fire. Eh, who cares? Annie, 2014. Eh, eh, don't really care about that movie either. Um, GoFundMes for Middle Township teens with brain injuries from crash. Oh, no. Oh, no. So this is a GoFundMe for Charlie Omrod, 16. Jeez. He's been in a medically induced coma. He underwent five hours of surgery to stop his brain bleeding to remove fractured pieces of his skull. Jeez. Well, I hope he recovers. I don't know what his condition is. So if you want to do that, go there. Cherokee High School staff and community members recognized for saving spectators' life. Good for you guys. Uh, what did they do? Spectator had a heart attack during the Cherokee versus Paul VI varsity girls basketball game. And uh, they immediately went into action. Well, good for you guys. Good job. Four New Jersey restaurants make Yelp's list of 100 best places to eat. Okay. Let's see. Um, what is this? Saber Unido. Hmm. Number 83. Oh, in Newark. Well, I'm not going there. It's Portuguese, though, and Brazilian food. Ooh. Sounds yummy. Um... 65 was Kenko Sushi in Lincoln Park. 37 was Jessica Ca Cafe in Plainfield. Number 21 was Brumchia in Montclair. These are all too far away for me, but there you go. Second best Nate date night city. For, yeah, date night city in America is right here in New Jersey. Date night city. Hmm. In New Jersey. I mean, I guess it could be Atlantic City. I mean, there are lots to do. Categories are uh, price for meal for two, bottle of wine. Uh, da, da, da. Atlantic City. I think that's it. Yep. Yep. Okay. Scored a 79.5 points, coming in second only to Sarasota, Florida. I mean, there is lots to do. Um, you know. Assuming you don't leave the confines of the casino, but yeah. Uh, speaking of, one of the most romantic hotels in America is right here in New Jersey. And it is... What is it? What is it? Is that... That's, oh, Borgata. Yeah, Borgata. I was going to say Rebel, but that's a Borgata. I hear it's great. I don't know. I, don't, I, I can't afford to go there. I get mail from them all the time. But there you go. Borgata, in case you didn't know. If you're in South Jersey, you probably already knew that. Country Music Honky Tonk Bar coming to Wildwood. Okay. I mean, it's opening in 2024. We part of the redo at the city's Boardwalk Mall. Well, I can see this doing well. Um... Getting towards the end here. New Jersey's best deli is amongst the best in America. Cool. All right, let's see. I'm going to assume this one's up north. Is it going to be uh, Harold's? Maybe it'll be Harold's. Harold's Deli in Edison. Yep. That is legendary. Oh, it's so good. Man, I went to Harold's. I did a, uh, a convention in the hotel where Harold's is in. And let me tell you something. That was a happy day for me. Oh, man. Even just getting an iced tea there, they they gave me a quart container and just punched a hole in it and put a straw in it. Oh, so good. And then we went out to eat there. It was fantastic. Highly recommend you go to Harold's in Edison. And finally, speaking of recommended, this was named one of New Jersey's best old school restaurant. It's the White Dot Dairy Bar and Grill. Uh, this is a cool place. This is out um, near uh, Vince Town. We're in Vincetown, and um, it's like you get custard and like hamburgers and hot dogs kind of thing. They got a little bit of seating inside. It was really more of a summer place, and uh, it's good. 
totally solid. Good place to stop if you just happen to be in the area and get like a, a quick lunch or something. Uh, but definitely like a, it feels like a very summertime place to me. And uh, yeah, the ice cream's pretty good. I, I, I go here. I have been. It, uh, it is convenient for me uh, on certain trips. So uh, that's it. That's it for South Jersey this week, uh, Pineys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in. This is uh, Little Joan. Don't forget her. I will be doing the live stream at 7 p.m. tonight. And we'll be uh, looking at the Oscars. I'm going to make my predictions. The live stream will get to make their predictions. We'll do a vote. And I'll, I'll write them all down. They don't have to agree. And then uh, in March, a month later, we'll we'll bust out the list and see who was right. See who was right. Uh, so join us on the live stream where we do it live. That's it for me. We'll see you on the live stream or 